Good day, hello, this is Matthew and Dazzle. This is 217 Top Trades. Let's get down to it. So what happened in the market today was, um, today is um, Monday, October 18th. Uh, so this is my um, ninth week, and that is good thing for everyone and me. I am learning a ton, and I hope you guys are too. This is gonna be great knowledge for everyone. Um, you guys could all look back on it and say, wow, um, he actually knew what he was doing. But anyways, let me get down to it. I don't like to toot my own air horn here, but um, so we went to, um, or actually from red on the futures markets uh, to actually green in the NASDAQ, it actually let out. So that's a good thing. Fang, uh, the Fang stocks, uh, Facebook did good today at 3.2. Apple, uh, it did 1.8. Amazon did 1.1. Netflix, 1.5 and Google did 1%. Uh, so that lifted up the uh, some of the indexes here. And just remind you that NASDAQ, it's about um, about 60%, I believe, is made up of tech stocks. So you have to look out for that. And it did rise. Tesla, it rose up to 870 today, up 3%. Disney, it fell on news that it would not make um, a couple movies, which, was, um, which are good hits. Uh, so it's down the down 3% down to 171 upstart. It went from, from red, from really red. Uh, like I said, uh, about from 400 down to 350 ish, um, almost 360 pretty much it, uh, it defended and it gained actually about 6%, but it ended down 1.74, uh, at 383 snap had, um, good positive analyst news and upgrades and it got clapped for some reason today. I, I would assume people taking profits before the next leg up. Um, it's at 75.8 or 1.9%. NEO had a 5% day up to 39.5. And Goldman Sachs, it had a nice day. Um, financials did decent today. Um, and Goldman Sachs, like I did say, it's up 413. Uh, fuel Cell had a nice day up. 18% up to 8.7. Macy's had a nice day up 17% uh, up to 22.8 or 28.2, excuse me. Uh, Zillow, it had a terrible day down 9.4% on news that wouldn't buy any more homes this year. Um, so that's that. And then Microsoft and Net, supposedly that they might be um, coming together here. It's up, uh, up 7%. And uh, Alcoa, AA, it's up. 57.2 on uh, all-time highs for aluminum uh, so that's that and then a firm it had a nice day up 7% up to 157 coin had a nice day along with Bitcoin it's up to 293 up 4.5% in other news in crypto news I could guess that's a good segue into the next one um, Bitcoin's at 61,500 up 3.5% um, ethereum that had 1.2% up 3745 ADA is flat at 2.13, Solana's at 1.56, Sheep had a nice day on um, NFT rumors and Hood and just a whole bunch of other things. It's at 17% uh, up and Avalanche is at 55 um, at flat. And what's happened in commodities world? Did we see more inflationary um, measures or uh, gauges I, I would or indicators? You could call them anything, one of those. Uh, and I would say, yes, they are good and bad uh, things happening. So let's just look out for commodities. Anyways, gold's staying flat at 1764. Silver's at 23.2. Copper's at 4.7. Rough and have it at its highs. So that's that. And oil, it had um, pretty much negative today. It actually went from, from green to red pretty harshly, about 2% from green to red. Uh, so on, I can't remember exactly. They were doing something with the oils, obviously. And that gas had a 7.8% drop, which is a good thing for the inflationary gauge, my inflationary gauge, I would say. It's down to 4.9. Wheat's at 7.3. Corn's at 5.3. Had a 1.5% 1, 1. gain. Soybeans at 12.2. Sugar had a 2.5% a um, loss today, which is another inflationary gauge, I would say. Uh, palladium had a terrible day at 2.8 down, down to 2,100. Uh, 2017 uh, like I did say um, aluminum hit all-time highs at 3,220 um, a ton but it fell down to 3,171 a ton and what else is happening 
Uh, the Dixie is at 93.9, say pretty much flat, just lost maybe uh, about a tenth of a, a percent there. And uh, the VIX, it fell 1.7%. So there are positive correlations for the U.S. equity markets and what they have been doing. We are past um, a couple of the moving averages that we were dipping from. So this is, um, I believe, confirmed dip buy. And um, we are seeing this transitory, or maybe not transitory, but inflation. And this is going to be passed on to consumers, which um, Wall Street, uh, they like because it's going to lead to higher corporate, corporate profits um, across the board. So we shall see um, what else happens the rest of um, week nine here. I will be taking uh, Thursday and Friday off. I'll be down there uh, in Austin, Texas. So uh, I might do some video or something like that. So just look out for that. But anyways, let me get back down to the futures. What happened? The Dow 30, it's at 35,239. Lost 54 points. It was the laggard today. Uh, and then the S&P, it rose 13 points up to 4,484 at point three of a percent and the nasdaq like i did say it led out of this and was the leader today up one percent up to fifteen thousand three hundred three and the russell it stayed flat at two thousand two hundred sixty nine and the nasdaq they will the tech sector will boom if um inflationary um, measures do come down and we are starting to see this with like i said a couple of indicators um we are starting to see like on oil it kind of is a different it's a um, inverse correlation um, or a divergent correlation against uh, oil so um, if oil goes up Nasdaq kind of might lags and if oil goes down stays you know kind of roughly flat they can both gain so um, we are seeing that in the markets though but this is Matthew and Dazzle. stick with me for another day at 217 top trades goodbye